Good morning everyone. Hope you have understood the concept of subtraction. In our previous class, we have done three digit simple subtraction sums. Today, we will be doing subtraction of three digit with borrowing. Let's begin. Now children, we are doing subtraction with borrowing three digit. Right? Hundreds, tens and ones. So, always you have to start from ones place. Then go to tens, then do hundreds place. So, you have 2 and 8 on ones place. If the first number is smaller than the other number, so what do you do? You need to borrow from tens place. So, here 8 cannot go from 2. So, we are borrowing from tens place. That is 110 we are taking. 110 means it is 10 ones. So, 10 plus 2 is 12 is your number here. Now here it will become 1 less. That is 1 less than 3 is 2. Change the numbers first. Then after 8 till 12 how many? After 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 4 are left here. Here on 10th place you have 2. 2 minus 1 is 1. On 100th place you have 4. 4 minus 2 is 2. Is it clear? Okay. Next sum is, here you can observe here on 1's place you have a number 7 is greater than 4. So, no need to borrow. So, 4 we can easily uh, give away from 7. So, 7 minus 4, how many? After 4, 5, 6, 7. 3 comes here. Now, look at 10's place. You have 0 and 6. So, 0 is less than 6. We cannot give away 6 from 0. So, here you need to borrow from 100's place. That is 1. 100 means it is 10. 10. So, 10 plus 0 is 10. Now here it will be 1 less that is 400. Right? Now after 6 till 10. After 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 4 tens here. Then 4 minus 2 is 2. Understood? Now here. On one's place you have 4 and 2. So 4 is greater than 2. So 4 minus 2 is 2. Now 1 is less than 8. So we need to borrow from 100's place. So that is 100 means 10 tens. So 10 plus 1 is 11 here. 11 tens. Now here it will 1 less. That is 5. Got it children? Now after 8 till 11 you count. After 8, 9, 10, 11. So 3 are left here. Now 5 minus 3. 2. Look here. On one's place you have 0. So seven, 0 is less than 7. So we need to borrow from 10's place. So 1 10 you are taking. That is 10 plus 0 is 10. 10 is your number here. This will become 1 less. That is 1 less than 4 is 3. Please change the numbers carefully. Always it will be 1 less when you are borrowing from other place. Now here 7 after 7 till 10. After 7, 8, 9, 10. 3 are left here. Now on 10's place you have 3. 3 minus 2 is 1. Now 7 minus 1. 6. Okay, let us do one more sum here. Now in one's place you have 3 and 3. Both the num numbers are same. So 3 minus 3 is always 0. Now look here on 10's place you have 0 and 6. Again 6 cannot go from 0. So you need to borrow from 100's place. That is 100 means 10 tens. 10 plus 0 is 10. Now this will be 1 less that is 3. 
Now after 6 till 10, 7, 8, 9, 10. 4 are left here. 3 minus 2 is 1. So is it easy for you? So do very carefully. So the remaining sums will be your homework. Got it? We will meet in our next class.